managerial accounting. We're looking at costing systems, job order costing. Now, we're going to talk about how costs flow through a job order cost system. And remember that the source document that we use is called a job order cost card. Now, the best way to uh, show you how the costs flow through is to take an actual problem. So we're going to look at problem one in your text and we're going to fill in the numbers that we know and then we can find the numbers that we don't know. So notice in the problem they tell me that beginning material inventory is $36,240. I don't know how many materials I purchased during the period, but I do know that ending is $38,910 and I know that the materials I used in the production process, in other words, that first flowed into work in process and onto a job order cost card was $82,320. And that $82,320 then flows over into work in process as a debit and is there with beginning work in process of $56,480. We don't know what direct labor is. But we do know that overhead is 53200 Now here's the other thing that we know. It says in the problem that overhead is equal to 80% of the direct labor dollars. So if overhead is 53200 then I know um, that is 80% of the direct labor cost. So if I take 53200 divide it by 80%, will I find my direct labor costs? Yeah, we will. Magic of math. And if I find it, it's 66,500. So labor is 66,500. And overhead, because we're under normal costing, yeah, applied overhead, is 80% of that, or 53,200. We don't know what cost of goods manufactured is, in other words, what came out of the work and process account, and we don't know what ending inventory is. So we're a little stymied here. Um, oh, look, we could have found how many uh, materials we purchased. Well, let's see. We should find that, shouldn't we? So if I take ending of 38,910, add to it 82,320, subtract 36,240, I'll get what I purchased. So notice I do that clockwise or counterclockwise uh, math thing. So the n amount we purchased was 84,990. Okay, so we're doing pretty good. Uh, still stuck on work in process. So let's go to finished goods and see if we're any more successful. Um, we know that beginning finished goods is 44260 I do not know what cost of goods manufactured is, but it does tell me that the cost of the units that I sold was uh, $209,050 and that my ending inventory is $47,940. So again, should we do that counterclockwise thing? Let's see. We start with ending $47,940 plus... 209.50 minus 44,260 and that will give me cost of goods manufactured. And cost of goods manufactured is 212,730. So 212.730. And you'll remember that the cost of the goods manufactured comes out of work in process. 212.730 which means now I can find ending work in process. So beginning work in process plus materials plus labor plus overhead minus cost of goods manufactured says that our ending work in process inventory is 45,770. And hopefully your math agrees with mine. So as you can see, one more time with feeling, we're going through what are the uh, items that will show up as debits and credits in the three inventory accounts of material inventory, work in process, and finished goods.